Okay, so you have an ancient PC. So this is a 2007 Dell, I think. And so if you look here in the bottom, I have installed two hard drives. And so people have been asking, or, or actually nobody's been asking, but I wanted to figure out if I can install Casa OS on RAID natively without installing something else like uh, OpenMedia Vault? And the answer is yes, and it's not as hard as you think. So let's do it right now. Okay, so the first step is we need to download Debian and then download install Bella Anna Etcher if you haven't already done that and then burn Debian to a USB drive. Now I'm just assuming that you know how to do all that because this is installing it to RAID which is a more advanced option. So next we'll skip all the installation we'll get right to the RAID part. Okay so this is like my third time filming this part because I did not film myself. I turned it off when I should have turned it on and so on and so forth. But anyways I did not realize that till the end. So on this part, force UFI installation. So basically Debian is a UFI uh, uh, OS, but if we click yes here, for me it doesn't work and I saw online uh, several other people, it did not work for them. So we're gonna keep that at no, hit continue. Click manual install, continue. Okay, so now here we have our two hard drives. Uh, this is my USB drive that is on there. Actually, it's on here twice. So we have, it's here listed as Ventoy, and down below here it's, it's the flash drive. But just ignore those two and down below. What we're interested in is these two things. So we're going to double click on this, and we want to create an empty partition table. So click yes and continue. So now we have that here. We want to do the same thing to this one. Okay. Next, we want to click on Software RAID and we want to write changes. Continue. Create MD device. Ours is RAID 1 because we just have two. Two drives, zero backups or spare drives. And then we pick our two devices. Hit continue. And then write those changes to the storage device and configure RAID, yes. Continue. And then click finish. And so now up here above you can see that we have uh, our RAID device and it's made some partitions there. And so we're basically going to ignore what it says there and just make our own. So we're going to go to Logical Volume Manager and keep current partition configuration, yes. So first we're going to create a volume group, hit continue, give it a name. So I picked Techno Dad Life, it doesn't really matter what the name is here. It will matter on the next step though. Okay, and so here we want to pick our RAID device, so here it's MDOP2, and then hit continue. And then, so after you create a volume group, you want to create some logical groups. And so we want to pick Technodad Life. So the first one is root. And so we want to do all of this minus about four gigabytes. So we're going to change this eight to a four. Hit continue and then create another logical group. And this one is swap underscore one and you have to do it that way. Hit continue and then finish. And so now we have two devices or two uh, LV root and swap. We're going to double click on the first one. We're going to click on do not use 
extension for journaling, and then mount root, and then continue or done. And so now it says extension for and root, and for our swap, we're going to change this to swap area, click continue, and done. Then finish partitioning and write to disk, and write changes to disk, and continue. If we're doing this for a server, we don't need any of these. We want to install SSH, and then continue. Okay, so we're back to the grub section, and so we want to install grub to your primary drive. And so you're going to think, wait, we just made a RAID, and we want in to install everything to the RAID. But no, we want to install it to the first bootable drive, because it doesn't work if you install it to the RAID. And then what we're going to do is install it to the second drive at first boot, so then if either drive goes bad, we will still be able to boot the computer. So here, click yes. Pick your first device and then continue. And if you get an error uh, when you're installing uh, Grub, that means you did something wrong earlier uh, in the process. So go back and redo everything. Then of course, when you get here, then just reboot and make sure you take out your installation media, which I'll do right now. And then hit enter, or continue. Okay, so next what we're going to do is log in as root and our password. And since we put it in legacy mode, we're going to type in dpkg-reconfigure space grub-pc and then hit enter. Then type in quiet and then hit enter again. And again. And so here we're going to select our two boot drives. So the A drive is already selected. We want the B drive. And then hit enter. And that's going to take a few minutes to go through its thing where it resets everything. Uh, next, we're going to type in shutdown-r now to reboot our machine, and then hit enter. Next, type in root and your password. Type in curl. Type in curl-fs, capital S-L, space HTTPS colon slash slash get casa OS pipe sudo bash hit enter and now it's installing casa OS and so once this is done uh, it will give us an IP address and we're going to log into that okay so here under casa OS uh, 0.4.6 we have an IP address and so then you would put that in your browser and we'll do that now. Okay, and so then we can log in when that's all done. Here you can see our RAID and under storage manager, doesn't show actually any drives there and doesn't say we can create anything. But if we look under drives, uh, there it is. And we can add or subtract things as we like. And so that is how you install Casa OS to uh, RAID 1. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.